Welcome everybody. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It's December 13th, 2015, and I'm really excited to show you what's been going on around the Climate Viewer camp uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, I was on uh, Clyde Lewis's uh, Ground Zero radio on uh, December 1st. Uh, the title is Woozy in the Sky with Diamonds. We discussed geoengineering and uh, diamond dust and a whole bunch of other stuff. Check that out right here. It was on SoundCloud. You got it played right there. And then um, I've been doing this the last couple of weeks. You got geoengineering and weather modification news for week 49. What I'm doing is uh, summing up, you know, all the weather modification news uh, for the week and putting it all into an article. Um, you can see over here on the sidebar, latest news. There's week 48, 47, 46, 45, 44. I'm not going to bore you and go through all those, but check them out. Um, weather modification is a worldwide industry and... You know, this is really starting to show the, the size and scope of it. What we're really what I'm looking forward to doing is really taking all of the countries involved in weather modification and, and mapping all that out. We're going to see that in just a second. But check this stuff out. COP21 News, an unspoken option if climate talks fail. Geoengineering. Um, as you can see, there's, there's a lot going on here. Um, this is the COP21 references at the top. And then geoengineering news from around the world will bill gates and his billionaire friends save the planet um check out bill gates geoengineering fund called pfizer and uh his hurricane modification patents by the way they're calling hurricane modification and mitigation geoengineering now <laughs> so um there's that uh blocking uh the sun with is no plan b for uh global warming we all know that geoengineering solar radiation management is a bad idea. We also know that it's already going on every single day in the form of ship tracks and contrails and chemtrails and everything else you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, that's we've had enough of that. That would be good if you could stop doing that. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's bad. So let's just move along. Um, there's a lot more here. I'm not going to go through it line by line. If you're into the topic, you're going to have your mind blown reading this stuff. Um, you know, uh, stuff about secret RAF cloud seeding experiments that flooded uh, the 1950s. You got some video there. Pretty good stuff. Um, and, and the list goes on and I'm going to do these each week. And for me, I'm, it, it helps me really keep up with, you know, what's going on, where the technology is going, what they're saying it's doing. And of course, we all know that it really doesn't work. So um, this is climateviewer.com slash geoengineering. You can click on geoengineering at the top or harp if you're into that. Um, and you know, I've written a, a pretty extensive um, little article here explaining, you know, in detail the scope of um, climate engineering, uh, space weather modification, uh, cloud seeding, you know, uh, cloud ionization. And, you know, what we want to know is, you know, who's pushing this stuff? Why is it coming now? The geoengineering global politic. And it really comes down to who's paying for it and who's talking the most about it. And you can see right here the sponsors are the National Science Foundation, the European Commission. Uh, there's Bill Gates Fund for Innovative Climate and Energy Research. That's Pfizer. That's paid for by Bill Gates. And then you see the rest here. So these are the people that are involved in funding the stuff. And these are the people talking about it. Ken Caldera, Alan Robach, Ben Kravitz, Peter Irvin, and uh, everybody's friend, David Keith. But you see here, Ken Caldera, big dot. Alan Robach, big dot. These guys talk about geoengineering SRM more than anybody else. Olivier Boucher right there. These two guys wrote the, um, the IPCC report on contrails. Interesting side fact. Um, moving along, we have the programs, the, um, the sponsors, and the patents. And, you know, for people wanting to know who, who's doing it, this is your article, and it's called Weather Modification Corporations, uh, Universities, and Derivative Traders. And I have them all listed out here. So universities, government, uh, and military involvements, um, weather modification uh, conferences, the weather derivatives where they bet on the weather on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. We see some video on that. And then uh, weather derivative companies like Guaranteed Weather. Um, <laughs> when you look at this stuff, it'll really blow your mind. Um, these guys, you know, your business needs weather protection. We can help. Um, there you go. And they, they have all kinds of solutions, you know, from everything from, you know, snow protection to weather protections for promotions. You know, you got a big event. You don't want it to rain on your event. Um, weather protection for golf courses. So these are, these are, there's a lot of money. This is an insurance company that's offering weather modification solutions for people. Um, big, big, big money. Um, so I listed them out here and then here's the derivatives timeline, uh, weather modification association links. 
Um, and you can see in there, NASIC DACA, U.S. Air Force Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, is a member of the Weather Modification Association. Um, this is no longer a uh, science fiction conspiracy. This is fact. And uh, here's all the details. I've been uh, talking about it for quite a while. I'm going to like that. Um, so moving along real quickly, uh, my other way of really fleshing this out is on the weather effect. Back to this real quick. Um, the geoengineering page, where were we? Let's go back to that real quick. Um, on the geoengineering page, I also have links to, uh, you know, why it's dangerous, why cloud seeding does not work, um, who's controlling the weather, more of the conferences, and the map. You got to see the map. Um, these are the most important articles that I've written about the subject right here. And then there's a timeline. This timeline is my baby. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this thing. So what I did was that you got geoengineering, cloud seeding electromagnetic, which is ionospheric heating and electric rain making. And um, I kind of flesh it out in details down here. So we have 186 entries in my timeline so far with 177 photos, 57 videos and 462 references. Every single one of these references are real. They come from places like the UNFCC.gov, uh, atmospheric chemistry, physics discussed. I, every single link is credible, referenced, amazing stuff. So. You got the details. This is SRM Science 2015. Uh, here's a link. You can go click on that and it'll take you to the website where they did it. And uh, come on, baby, come on. Any day now. So um, you got to love government websites, right? So you can click here and you can actually watch the videos from it. Solar Radiation Management, Cambridge 2015. Flip through that bad boy and then just flip to the next one. So you got a slider here. Click the little button to flip through the videos. Get yourself educated, people. It's all right there at your fingertips. All you got to do is read it. Um, I'm really proud of this one. Um, cloud seeding with Pepto-Bismol. This is chemtrail solutions <laughs> to get rid of the contrail, aviation persistent contrails. We're going to use commercial aviation to spray bismuth triiodide to melt clouds away. Um, you know, there's the thing on that. And then here's a video on it from the weather modification conference. You know, where the lady explains, you know, shows all that to you right there. Climate response to serious cloud seeding. So this is the new solution. It's called thermal radiation management instead of solar radiation management. Go figure. They love to change their acronyms. It makes it harder for us to find it on Google or wherever. Um, but rogue geoengineering is undetectable, and we know that. So we're in a situation where if a country or an individual decided to geoengineer our planet, there is no way legally for anybody to ever prove it or catch them. And that is a dangerous, dangerous place. So you got to know your history. If you don't know your history, um, you're doomed to repeat it. And uh, what I did was I put it you know, right there on paper, links, references, and all that. Stratospheric sulfate injections with commercial airplanes um, using JP8 doped with sulfur, uh, jet fuel doped with sulfur, lots of sulfur in there um, to cool the planet. So chemtrails, geoengineering, um, jet biofuels enlisted for contrail control. They're now going to use jet biofuels on takeoff and then uh, when they get to altitude dump a bunch of sulfur and hopefully that will cool the planet down like solar radiation management so that's geoengineering as well this timeline is really long i mean really long um and it goes all the way back to let's see here 1836 with uh james pollard fc the storm king um reroute notions to melt the poles people like to burn the poles up and get to the oil um rhymes about it and all that stuff so um check this bad boy out i'm really proud of it going to add a lot more to it um another cool feature up here at the top you can hit show all or you can hit show me artificial clouds and that will only show you the entries that are relevant to chemtrails contrails and the like new fuss raised over jet contrails the sky was covered back in 1958 in Palm Springs. This has been a long problem, people. If you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. Um, and, you know, lots of history here to look through. So I hope you guys do. Um, you know, there's tons and tons of stuff in here. And I've got a, links over here to those uh, patents, programs, and all that. So then to take it a step further, we went, I went over here to my map at climateviewer.com uh, slash mobile. This is the mobile-friendly version. And you can see here all of the cloud seeding generators that I've mapped out so far. Each one of these is from a credible reference. You can see here, I went and found weather modification sites, target areas, Grand Mesa. There's 
their map from their actual government website, which you can see right here, uh, cwcbstate.colorado.us, weather modification permit areas, Grand Mesa target areas. So I went and I found all these. I'm finding more of them each day. Um, it's going to take me a while to get them all because there's so damn many of them. Um, but you can see them all right here. Pretty cool stuff. And um, I'm going to I'm going to find every dang one of them. <laughs> it's just too, too much fun, people. And this is what they look like. You got generators. Uh, this one's a solar powered one. It works remotely. It's computer operated. And here's your old redneck version. Manual cloud seeding generator. It's a propane tank with a little silver iodide burner and it shoots it up in the sky. And he ain't one damn bit worried about breathing that stuff. Um, so that's fascinating. Um, and, you know, I love what I do. This is really, really fun stuff. And I think that, you know, what I'm doing, I've had a lot of people ask me about it and they think that they would be interested in, you know, mapping stuff out and being able to really, you know, find some of these big problems. And to give you an example, um, you know, I've been able to go and find, uh, let's say, nuclear pollution every single nuclear reactor in the dang world and this took quite a while people um each one of these red ones boiling water reactor you can see a photo of the place fascinating stuff there's a nuclear power plant underwater yes that's a flood um and you know the details for the reactors are at the bottom let's zoom out here and then i'm going to hit uh, the rest of these on so let's turn all of the reactors on that's all the nuclear reactors in the world now, why would anybody care about where all the nuclear reactors in the world are? Um, because of things like Fukushima. And if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. So Three Mile Island meltdown, which is over here. Oh, I'm going too fast. Let's see, Chernobyl. Let's just go to that one. And this is the fallout from it. When Chernobyl blew up, it irradiated that entire area. This is a very big area. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, you know, there you go. So that's the size of the radioactive zone to this day from the Chernobyl accident. And then you have the Fukushima Daiichi accident, which irradiated this big area. And, of course, the whole damn ocean. Come on, you got to load for me. Having issues. Um, so this is, this is, um, you know, obviously something that people should be concerned about. It took a while to map all this stuff out and you get the 10 most radioactive places on earth. Um, and I hope that people will, you know, check this stuff out, use it, reference it and all that light. Um, so what I'm doing over here is we've got a roadmap for what we're planning to do right now. We've got the 3d globe, the mobile map you just saw. And then the climate viewer reports, which is uh, like a crowd re crowdsource reporting app. You can post your uh, photos of chemtrails. You can post like uh, there was a chemical accident here, um, things like that. And, uh, you know, here's the details on it. So what we're planning on doing, what we've got, I've got a little roadmap here to show you. Um, currently, you know, we got these done. We're, we're adding like a social media feed. So it'd be like your um, Facebook feed, um, a graphing software where you can plot um, points out. And, uh, you know, a whole bunch of other features like, you know, profile page, all, everything you can do with Facebook, um, Twitter, uh, Reddit and Craigslist will be built into this uh, when it's done. So we're really looking forward to um, getting that up there. I got a couple of guys helping me now and uh, I think we're going to make a lot of progress on it. But you can see, you know, um, this is going to be some real fun stuff. Let's check that out real quick. Um, this is what it looks like. Look at this. So that's the graphing software. And what you got. Other events dot com slash climate viewer. And, you know, all of our, um, you know, list of goals are out here. Uh, the history of the project here and all that. So please help us out over on there and uh, check this stuff out and share it. Um, I pr I, I'm really hard pressed to find things that aren't already on the website. So I want you guys to challenge me. If there's something that I have not covered, something I have not thought about, please bring it to my attention because um, we're about to make a documentary um, covering this weather modification stuff. And I really want it to be the most thorough ever. So um, check this stuff out. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me what I missed. 
and uh, share it around, guys. With that said, man, I love you. I mean it. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, and uh, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. <laughs>